What you're watching is a simulation of what the graduation ceremony will look like. Please, when you march in, you need to make sure you maintain your six feet distance. We are very lucky and fortunate that the Health Administration has allowed the graduations because all of these parameters have been put in place. You will walk in six feet apart and you will six, sit six feet apart. It will take a very long time to have 729 of you march in and get you to your seats with the size of the venue. Please be patient. Once you arrive to your row, it is imperative that you listen to the teachers that are there guiding each row, telling you where to turn and sit. This is so that we do not have any empty seats. Your seats will also be placed six feet apart on both sides and in front and behind you. So all the way around you, you will have six feet of space. This does not mean you can remove your mask. The mask must stay in place the entire time. You must remain standing until after the national anthem and the pledge of allegiance gentlemen at this point for the pledge of allegiance you will be asked to remove your caps you will remove your caps and remain standing the entire time until after the pledge of allegiance and the national anthem you will be told you may sit down please understand that you will be standing the entire time until after the national anthem after the national anthem, the gentleman will be told you can replace your caps and be seated. Nothing can be in your hands as you're marching in or throughout the ceremony with the exception of your name card. Your name card is how Miss Madame Ruit will pronounce and say your name when it is your time and turn to go up on stage. Any phones that we see will be confiscated. It will be a lovely ceremony if everyone follows directions.